Pisces, Pisces, I have a message for you guys and it's not this, okay? In your heart of hearts, you know what time it is. You can observe the time. Um, I'm here to tell you that you need to repent. You need to accept Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, as your Lord and Savior and repent, okay? And observe the times, okay? Observe the times. You know, I have to tell you this. I love you guys. I have to tell you this. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Pisces for May the 27th through May the 28th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Pisces for May the 27th through May the 28th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Pisces for May the 27th through May the 28th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. <clears throat> Pisces, these are your cards, honey. <sighs> I'm glad I didn't pour out the waterworks in your reading like I did Scorpio's. Like Scorpio, I don't know what kind of... I, I, listen, Pisces, you have the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This queen is a no-nonsense type of queen. She already knows the truth. She'll let you speak your truth to bring more clarity, but she has no problems with cutting people, places, and things out of her life that no longer serve her. So listen, Pisces could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Swords and cutting something out. Also with the Queen of Swords, this can be legal documentation or paperwork. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Pisces. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Pisces. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Pisces. It is clarified with the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, and this is about making a decision. So Pisces could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Swords, coming forth with truthful communication or making a decision. Clarify the King of Swords for Pisces. Clarify the King of Swords for Pisces. Clarify the King of Swords for Pisces. It is clarified with judgment. Now, judgment could be you passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So, Pisces, you could be passing your own final verdict and judgment here. Someone could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance. Or you're dealing with something in legal. Clarify judgment for Pisces. Clarify judgment. For Pisces, clarify judgment for Pisces. It is clarified with the magician. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And you have all the tools and resources available to you to manifest whatsoever you will. You have the water element, the earth element, the air element, the fire element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, you can manifest. 
could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to make something happen here. Clarify the magician for Pisces. Clarify the magician for Pisces. Clarify the magician for Pisces. It is clarified with the Ace of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory. But this could also be the sword that one wields to sever a relationship. So, Pisces, you can tell me that you guys are having this communication. You can tell me that you've come into some truth and clarity. You can tell me that you're making a decision or you're using this sword to sever. Now, Pisces, listen, you can tell me that there was a cutting off. They may have cut you off and you're trying to manifest communicating with this person you may want to come forth with truthful communication or come clean because you're wanting forgiveness in a second chance or pisces you're telling me that they're asking for forgiveness in a second chance and you're having to make a decision okay now i don't know if you're gonna make a decision to uh, forgive or use the sword to sever you know and come down with this sword here pisces you have the world <clears throat> so you may be at a distance from your partner, either emotionally or physically at a distance. You may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle, closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So Pisces, you can tell me that there's distance between you guys, emotional distance, a geographical distance. You can tell me that a cycle is closing out completely or someone is wanting to come back around again. What about the world? For Pisces, clarify the world. For Pisces, clarify the world. <clears throat> For Pisces, it is clarified with the Six of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters, moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, you're wanting to move away. Now, this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you. Agreeing to disagree. Letting bygones be bygones. And moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is you saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So, Pisces, you can tell me that you're physically moving or traveling. You can tell me, hey, let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together. Letting bygones be bygones. Or you're saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. Now, Pisces, both these cards speak of travel, so it could be some physical travel. Pisces, you can tell me that you're wanting to close out the cycle and just move out, move on, and move away from the relationship and just cut them off. This is your decision, your judgment. Or Pisces, you're telling me that you're hoping that you guys can put it behind you and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones and starting a whole new cycle here because it could be you wanting to ask for forgiveness and a second chance. Pisces, you have the moon. This is you, Pisces, but the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. So Pisces, this is you. Clarify the moon for Pisces. Clarify the moon for Pisces. Clarify the moon for Pisces. Okay. What about Pisces? What about Pisces? Clarify the moon for Pisces. It is clarified with the hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but right now you're taking some time out to be alone, to do some soul searching, introspection, searching your inner man for wisdom and guidance, going within, looking for answers. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but you can tell me that, hey, I just need some me time. You can tell me that you're doing some heavy duty soul searching or you went on a solo search looking for something. Clarify the hermit for Pisces. Clarify the hermit for Pisces. Clarify the hermit for Pisces. It is clarified with the two of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag, this is you being at a crossroads, needing to pick a path between two. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? So Pisces, you're at a crossroads, needing to decide, needing to pick a path here. 
So Pisces, I feel like you're doing some heavy duty soul searching on what you want to do here. Like I said, it could be them asking for forgiveness and a second chance and you're needing to make a decision. So you have to make a choice or decision here. Pick a path. Could also be you doing some heavy duty soul searching on whether or not you want to ask for forgiveness and a second chance here. Okay. Pisces, you have the Ten of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the Apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So Pisces, someone very well may have commitment on the brain. But in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Pisces. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Pisces. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Pisces. It is clarified with the Two of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So Pisces, very well could be dealing with your soulmate here. But this can also be in an agreement. Now Pisces, you can tell me that you guys are going to salvage you guys' this commitment, marriage, living together situation or family dynamics because you realize this is your soulmate here. Or you're telling me that it's ending. Either way, I don't know. You have to tell me. Pisces, you have justice. Could be dealing with a Libra. But you may be calling for karmic justice. Saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or you're saying that someone did me so wrong and so dirty. I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. So Pisces could be dealing with a Libra, but you can tell me that, hey, something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just. You can tell me that someone wants to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation, or you're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice for Pisces. Clarify justice for Pisces. Clarify justice for Pisces. It is clarified with the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. But this devil energy can speak of a toxic energy that is looming over you guys' relationship. And what makes it toxic is this restrictive and binding. Someone may be obsessive, possessive, controlling, abusive. Someone may have an addiction to sex, drugs, drinking, smoking, working too much, money, attention, gambling, sports, video games, eating too much. Anything that a person does too much of. Or someone here is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else causing this toxic energy to loom over you guys' relationship. So Pisces could be dealing with a Capricorn. But when we're dealing with this devil energy, this can speak of something being toxic, restrictive, and binding. This can speak of a legal binding contract. But also temptation. Clarify the devil for Pisces. Clarify the devil for Pisces. Clarify the devil for Pisces. It is clarified with the four of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. So Pisces, this can be about your foundation, your stability. This can be about commitment, marriage, leveling up. This can be a ceremony, celebration, or even property. Now Pisces, you can tell me that something is toxic here and you guys, it's already established relationship or commitment. You feel like it's not fair, balanced, and just, and you want to take it to the justice system, maybe for a legal separation or divorce here. But Pisces, you could also tell me that this is about going into a legal binding contract, maybe with the justice of the peace and making things official here, okay? Because you can tell me that this is about filing legal documentation or paperwork and you need to make a judgment call or a decision and here you are trying to decide here. Maybe we're just going to move on and start a whole new cycle of something more solid, stable, and committed here. 
I'm going to take a look at the Twin Flames Exposed for you and your partner, Pisces. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. And it says, I can't sleep. I'm having a hard time dealing with this. I can't sleep. I'm having a hard time dealing with this. I'm going to also take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you and your partner, Pisces. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. <sighs> I love y'all. Pisces, you need to know this right now for May the 27th through May the 28th, 2024. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.